not simply as a group of nations, but as a united front, standing for the values that are much larger than ourselves. We stand for the bedrock principles of national sovereignty and liberty, principles that Russia's illegal and unprovoked invasion of Ukraine clearly undermine. Putin's war of choice is not just a transgression against Ukraine. It is literally a frontal assault on the very international order that guarantees peace, prosperity, and freedom to all nations. The brave Ukrainian people continue to demonstrate their spirit of resilience, fighting relentlessly to reclaim their homeland from Russian occupation. Each day, the Ukrainians fight not just with steel and weapons, but with the iron will of their spirit. As President Zelensky has announced recently, the Ukrainians have embarked on an offensive operation to liberate their country. They're in the early stages, and it's far too early to make any definitive assessments. But I can tell you that each day, the Ukrainians demonstrate the courage and tenacity needed to methodically regain their territory. We have said before that war is dynamic. It is a contest of wills. As the Secretary just said, it's uncertain, it's violent, and as always, high cost. But we can be sure that Ukrainian bravery, competency, and preparedness will carry the day. We can be confident that this contact group has given Ukraine the tools that it needs to succeed, and we know that the will of the Ukrainian people will continue to resonate far beyond their borders. In fact, it will resonate throughout the globe. Their actions echo the voices of all people who cherish freedom and the rights to determine their own fate against tyranny. Our assistance to Ukraine supports their cause to remain free and independent. It represents our commitment to what binds us as nations operating within the rules-based international order. We have and we will continue to offer wide-ranging support from providing sophisticated combined arms capabilities to intelligence to training of Ukrainian forces to be more effective on the battlefield. Through a global effort, more than 6,000 Ukrainians are being trained right now at 40 different locations, training locations, in 65 courses in 33 nations on three continents. That is all happening right now, today. Since the beginning of the war, the United States has trained over 11,000 Ukrainians in combined arms maneuver and staff training. The U.S. training effort has created 12 maneuver battalions and nearly 5,000 operators that are fighting those machines right now, along with their combined arms staffs. We are currently training three battalions, a tank battalion and two Territorial National Guard battalions. All in all, the international effort has trained almost 60,000 Ukrainian soldiers for this current operation, and many of whom are engaged in close combat as we stand here today. Last week, the United States released another Ukrainian security assistance initiative package totaling several billion dollars, two billion. This package procures critical capabilities, including Patriot munitions, Hawk air defense systems, artillery, rocket munitions, maintenance, sustainment support, and much more. Additionally, this week, we released our latest drawdown package of $325 million. From our current stocks, we are providing Ukraine air defense munitions, Gimlers, long-range artillery, artillery rounds, 155, Bradley strikers, and many other capabilities. Over the past year, we have seen the strength of Ukraine because of the international coalition and the impact of our collective support, along with the courage of the Ukrainian people. We see Ukrainian forces displaying exceptional skill in operating complex systems like Patriot, armored vehicles, and HIMARS. We see Ukrainians effectively leveraging anti-armor weapons, advanced munitions, and sophisticated air defense systems. Our commitment to Ukraine extends far beyond the here and the now. It is not defined by time or convenience, but it is defined by the principles of democracy, freedom, and the international rule of law. It is a pledge that upholds the international order to ensure that every nation, big or small, can live in peace enjoying its rightful sovereignty without fear of unprovoked aggression. As the President of the United States and Secretary of Defense Austin have consistently stated over and over again, the United States remains committed 
to supporting Ukraine for as long as it takes. We will continue to provide Ukraine with the means to fight until Russia ends this unprovoked aggression.